Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture in uh, of production engineering. Uh, this lecture is directed to the petroleum engineers and all those uh, technicians working in the field of the oil and gas, especially in the production uh, department. Uh, this lecture is uh, just an overview, a brief introduction to the production engineering. In fact, our aim here is to present to you the uh, the production system. Okay, so let's keep the ball rolling. What is the production uh, system? Okay, it is a composite term describing the entire production process and includes the following principal components. Okay, the reservoir, its productive its productive capacity and dynamic production characteristics over the uh, envisaged life of the development okay and the well bow the production interval the sum and the fruit of the well bow okay the well bow are the parts that are connected right to the casing okay that are in contact with the uh, casing then the production conduit comprising the tubing and the tubing components then the well head or the x mass tree and the flow lines when we talk about the well head we are talking about the christmas tree and the flow line okay also the treatment facilities okay so when we talk about the production systems we have five com most at time we have five components the reservoir the well bow the production conduit the well head and the treatment facilities okay uh, in this picture let me show you this picture you have the elements of the production system let me zoom it for you okay here you can see this is the reservoir where you have the rocks okay this are this is the rock okay we call it the reservoir because the reservoir it has uh, many layers many components okay there are many layers of rocks it may be sandstone shale and so on okay uh, and you have the tubing this is the tubing and the well head okay the well head you can see there is we have the christmas tree the production line and everything the casing do not forget that the casing is always perforated reason why you can see down there in the bottom hole you see the perforations okay and the packers and the packers i hope you know the use of the packers okay if you have forgotten what is the use of the packers then don't be don't don't be afraid or don't do not panic we are still going to come back on it when we will get to the to the completion lecture okay then you have the natural flow the naturally flowing well this is the most simplest i mean the 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 simplest type of well it is a well whereby you don't need any driving any uh, external driving force to drive the the oil or the gas from the well okay uh, a natural flowing well def is defined as any well which has sufficient pressure in the reservoir to cause the oil or gas to flow naturally to the surface through the well bow okay it is we can also define it as a well which produces oil or gas without any means of artificial lift okay or uh, they require relatively little equipment or expenses to bring the oil to the surface as i said in a naturally flowing well you don't need artificial lift techniques okay and the equipment commonly used consists of the tubing the well head and the mass and the christmas tree the tubing the well head and the christmas tree uh, the reason is that the driving force in a naturally flowing way, the driving force is the pressure, okay? So, the, we rely on a pressure drop to move the oil to the surface. These are the components of a typical well. You can see you have the reservoir which contains oil 
or gas which we can also have a reservoir which contains only oil okay so do not uh, get confused this is the casing and then you have the tubing inside the casing and this is the well head or the christmas tree okay these are packers okay packers are always placed in between the tubing and the casing okay then the perforations now you can see the natural flow okay from the reservoir to the casing through the tubing goes to the well head and to the flow line okay well let's continue the component you can see on the other hand okay here you have a a typical a typical the, the components of a typical well which as i have mentioned you have the reservoir the tubing uh the casing and the well head okay then let's keep moving i think my phone uh, my equipment is having an issue uh, let me sort it out okay this is the christmas tree okay you can see of the all the gauges okay which is the uh, all the valves that we have on the christmas tree these are the component of a typical well this is the casing head okay this is the tubing head then you have the casing valve okay this is what i wanted this is the master valve and the last one is the wing valve what is the role of the master valve is to stop the fluid flow shooting in the well okay you can with the master valve we either stop the flowing flow okay we we call it shooting shooting the well okay when they say on in the field that they are shooting it the well it means they make use of the master valve to stop the flow this is the wing valve what is the role of the wing valve is to control the production line okay this is the production line as i have mentioned because the flow is from the well head to the facilities to the treatment facilities okay these are the gauges like the, pro the the pressure gauges okay and you have the choke the main role of the choke is to decrease the pressure from the well to the production line okay this is called the T, okay? You can see it has the, the, the shape of a, the letter T, okay? Uh, in fluid mechanics, you will, uh, you will really learn about the, the T connection, okay? These are the types of flow models in, for the stabilized well in flow, okay? You can see that uh, this is a flow in the linear direction because we have two types of, of flow the linear flow and the radial flow okay here you see uh, this red this red uh, spot okay is defined uh, i mean it represents the casing okay and the flow is from the reservoir to the casing this is a linear flow in the radial flow you can see that the flow is coming from all sides okay and here is called the radial flow uh, the the red spot is said to uh, represent the uh, i mean the, the 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 casing okay uh, we will stop here for this lecture and uh, next time we will go to things more interesting for uh, in the production engineering okay uh, thank you very much